Bonjour. Bonjour YouTube. Today we are in Chateau Very We're... Chateau -Landon. It's in the south of Paris. It's in Seine Marne and it's a small town. It's a small town that is basically it's a quite medieval. Small, actually. It's a medieval town. So why we chose this place is because we love to discover medieval towns. In this episode, we will show you around. So, Oniva. So behind me is to Saint André, uh, as a tower that used to be part of the, an old abbey. It dates to 12th century, and um, it was destroyed. The rest of the building was destroyed in the 16th century. It played a very big, important role at the time, and uh, now the remains are only these. Let's go and check out the next place. So why is this town so important to uh, religious pilgrims? Well, the, according to the legend, in the year 507, a Swiss monk named Severin came here and uh, he miraculously cured Clovis I. After Clovis passed away, his third son, which, whose name was Childerbird I, built a huge basilic that became an abbey afterwards, San Severin and we're gonna go and see it now. At the moment, unfortunately, we cannot go in because there is the retirement home inside. So uh, we can't go in, it's closed. There are people who are living there, so it's close to the visits, uh, but we will see it outside. And um, it's a beautiful building, apparently. We haven't seen it yet, so let's go and check it out. Can we just agree that this place is absolutely stunning? Look at it. Look at it. It's beautiful. As we approach to the Abbey of Saint Severin, uh, there is the lavoir, which was a public lavoir. Lavoir is where the it's the place where people washed, um, I would say maybe laundry or whatever they needed to wash in the river or in the canals. And um, this was built by the monks of the Abbey of uh, Saint Severin. And uh, we are almost at the Saint Severin itself. And uh, yeah, uh, it's just cool. It's really cool. So if you see over there, there is the box at the bottom. This is where people would sit, a person would sit, with the, they would get on their knees in front of the water. And then there is a border behind, like a board, not a border, board behind, that they would put and they would basically do their laundry, like they would put their things and then they would put it against the, it's like a laundry board, you know. And I find it incredible, I don't know, it looks like a private home, but I find it amazing that someone decided to put things 
to actually explain to people how this was done. I think it's incredible. I think it's so beautiful. And um, yeah, this is how they used to wash their clothes and skins, I think, and other stuff. And the cat is still following us, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> We have our own guide with us. She's taking us around right there. <laughs> I wonder what her name is. She's so cute. My goodness, this is so cute. All of this. Yeah. Really, it's such a beautiful place. It's stunning. Stunning. After the heavy rain, we just reached Abe San Samarang. Unfortunately, we cannot visit because right now it's a retirement house and in 20th century it's classified as a historical monument. So let's have a more look at it around. So let's go. This is also Ile de France region, the same region as Paris. And you can just come here to chill. I think it's one of the underestimated towns in Ile-de-France region. I would give 10 out of 10 for sure for this place. I understand that now it's a pandemic time, but it feels like there is, there is not much of tourism activity. However, there is so much to see. In terms of, um, you know, there are beautiful buildings, beautiful residential buildings. Behind me, look at that. It's stunning. And the thing is, those are all, um, it's all on a hill. So you have to go up and down, up and down. It's so beautiful. Uh, we are still going to see the Notre Dame Basilic. Or I think it's a cathedral, I'm not sure. And um, <clears throat> we're going to go see it now. I don't know if it's open, but it's huge. Like the, um, the tower is humongous. You can see it from everywhere. This is like one of those places that is a gem that you find without realizing how good it will be. And then you are just pleasantly surprised. Behind me is an English Notre Dame. It's an example of medieval era church with a height of 57 meter bell tower. It's unique in cinema department. We're gonna go and see now La Tour Madeleine, which is the um, defense tower, one of the old defense towers that were commissioned that was commissioned by uh, Charles VI. And um, yeah, this town is highly recommended. It's only one hour away from Paris. It's such a hidden gem. One one Frenchman that just came up to me and he was telling me the story about the the bell tower of the church itself how it's divided into three sections and how um, the tower itself is so unique because of the structure and uh, it's quite tall and it was built when it was built it was built to show the strength and the power of the government and it's just fantastic
wish to be me.